The authorities in Florida have released new video evidence showing a racially motivated shooting that killed three people. WGN's Andrea Medina is in the newsroom. Andrea. Tamar and Jackie, the Justice Department is investigating this as a hate crime, but heartbreak remains across Jacksonville as a sheriff, other elected officials and community members are still grappling to understand why this atrocity happened. A day after a gunman killed three black people in a racially motivated shooting at a Jacksonville Dollar General store. There was a Sunday morning prayer service at the St. Paul African Methodist Episcopal Church to remember them and ask for peace. But God, our hearts are hurting for the family of the victims that lost their lives with a cowardly act. Someone struggling with life decided to abuse others. The Jacksonville mayor broke down when she addressed the parishioners. And I am so very, very deeply, deeply sorry that this has happened in this community once again. During a press conference, Sheriff T.K. Waters began by honoring the two men and women who were killed. Angela Michelle Carr, 52 years old. Anolt Joseph, or A.J., uh, Laguerre Jr., 19 years old, and Gerald Deshaun Gallion, 29 years old. He then identified the suspect as 21-year-old Ryan Christopher Paul Metter from Orange Park, Florida. The sheriff says he had no criminal arrest history and legally purchased an AR-15 style rifle and handgun he used in the attack. He knew what he was doing. And um, again, it's uh, disappointing that anyone would go to these lengths to hurt someone else. The sheriff shared portions of the store's surveillance video footage and gave an extensive timeline of the 21-year-old's actions, describing the moment security asked the suspect to leave Edward Waters University to when he arrived at the Dollar General store and started shooting, and then when he killed himself. The Florida governor also condemning the hate-motivated shooting. Perpetrating violence of this kind is unacceptable, and targeting people due to their race has no place in the state of Florida. And the governor adds that there will be security at Edward Waters University to make sure everyone feels safe. In the newsroom, Andrea Medina, WGN News.